What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here and we are back with another video. I guess I should say I'm back with another video because Kim is out with our youngest weekenders, Zoe and Bobby. They're out doing girly stuff. So I'm about to show you a new install that we're going to do inside of our RV. So check it out right after this. So, if you own an RV, I'm sure you know that you should have a surge protector installed to your electrical points to make sure that there are no surges or anything that can damage the equipment inside of your RV. Well, we are on our third surge protector. We had our 30 amp surge protector inside of our travel trailer that we had a couple of years ago. And this 50 amp surge protector that we had hooked up to Grace. We had torrential rains here in the fall and early winter on the eastern shore and this surge protector got damaged in the rain. So what we're going to do today is install the new Progressive Industries EMS HW50C hardwired surge protector. So I'm not going to be doing this by myself. I have a couple of friends that are going to help me today. I have my father-in-law Joe, who you've seen in previous videos, and a good friend of ours, uh, Chuck Ash. He has one of these installed inside of his grand design, so he is somewhat of an expert on how to install this type of unit. So, I'm going to do some preliminary work and clean out the basement area and get it all prepped up because those guys are going to be the ones that are going to do the actual install. Alright, check it out. Here we go. Now that the basement is cleared out, I'm going to continue the prep work for the install. So come on, follow me and see what I'm going to do next. So now we have the basement area all cleaned out. And what I'm going to do is take off six screws. I have one here, one here, one down here, and there are three more on the other side. We're going to take this piece off and go behind there and see what's there and find out the location where we're going to install the hardwired surge protector. So here is the surge protector itself. When you receive it you'll need to take off two screws that are lightly screwed in, one here and one over here, and you'll take the top off and you'll see what's on the inside. Inside you have your wire that is used For this screen, the screen here will tell you all your error codes and making sure and tell you that your unit is working properly. There's a diagram on the top of the unit that shows you all of the error codes. And like I said, you can see those error codes right here on this screen. So we'll have to find a location where to mount this screen inside the rig. your clamps and additional screws and this is what the inside looks like okay as you can see the panels are off we can see clear through to the middle of the RV Joe is here now so he's gonna help me we're gonna go inside and take a look at where we can find the main shore power cord that's coming into the RV so right now we've come to the mid bunk room and we're taking the breaker box out to find out where the main power source is coming in. Okay, we've located the main power cord that's coming into the RV. We've unhooked it from the breaker box. These are the wires here. So what we'll do next is connect this to the surge protector and another wire to connect back into the circuit breaker. All right. 
So now that we've located where we want to put the surge protector, we're going to mount it to the side wall and not have it sitting on the floor so that if there's a leak, it doesn't get into the surge protector. So I have this small piece of plywood. I'm going to cut it out to exact measurements and then we're going to mount that to the side wall and then mount the surge protector to it. That's what's next. All right, we've got the piece of plywood in and Joe is screwing in screws to the studs through the plywood. That's where we're going to mount the surge protector. Okay, so here we have the shore power wire coming into the input of the surge protector and the red, white, and black wires are connected. Next, what we're going to do is we have six feet of the same number six wire that we're going to connect to these on the output side. All right, we have six feet of the number six wire indoor. I'm going to take these parts and run it through into the circuit breaker box that's in the mid bunk. So these ground wire connectors that came with the surge protector are too big for the ground wire that's in our RV. So we had to go out and purchase these ring terminals which are 12 to 10 gauge and we'll use these for the ground wire. Okay so I have fed the wires through this hole right here, your white, red, and the black. They've been connected to the 50 amp circuit breaker here. Black is here, red is there, and the white is connected here. So now what we'll do is we'll move to the other side under the coach and connect the other side of this wire to the output of the surge protector. All right, so Joe has everything all connected. The wires from shore power, the surge protector is connected. I have taken and put our monitor together, connected. So what we're gonna do now is make sure everything works. Let's give it a test. We have our 50 amp extension cord connected to the house. We'll plug that in. connected. Next we turn on a circuit breaker from the house and go take a look. And there we have it. The display is going through its sequence code. We have line 1 120 volts 3 amps. Sixty Hertz and EO means that everything is working normally. All right, all we have left to do now is put this cover back on the unit and we are done after putting the cover back inside the basement. <laughs> All right, YouTube, that concludes this week's video of the installation of our hardwired surge protector, the EMS HW50C. Thanks, Pop, for all your help. Joe did 90% of the work. I did 10% of the work, <laughs> but he did a great job. But we did it together. We did it together. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, unfortunately, Chuck wasn't able to make it here, but we want to give a special shout out to Chuck Ash for being able to want to help us tackle this project. So thank you so much, Chuck. Also, we want to give a special shout out to Roni and Michelle, the Traveling Trekkies. They've got a brand new YouTube channel about RVing and uh, we were an inspiration to them starting their channel and we hope that you go and watch their channel. You can check it out right here, all right? 
So that concludes this week's video. We just want to say we hope you like this video. We hope you subscribe to our channel and we will see you at another time. All right. So hopefully you have a great weekend. See you later. Bye. Bye bye.